shapes and spaces. Here we can see a classroom. In the classroom, a football, pencil, pencil box, eraser and dice are kept on the table. Rani is a brilliant student in the classroom. She closed her eyes and tried to identify the shapes of each object by touching it. I can feel the shapes of these objects, Rani told. Now, let us study about the shapes of these objects. Kinds of shapes. Let us study and understand the shapes of different things. Shapes are of two types. Plain shapes, solid shapes. Plain shapes. Plain shapes are triangle, rectangle, circle, oval and square. Solid shapes. Solid shapes are cube, cuboid, sphere, cylinder and cone. Naming three-dimensional objects. Let us study about three-dimensional objects. Cube. Examples of cube are dice, sugar cube, etc. Cuboid. Examples of cuboid are matchbox, lunchbox, etc. Cylinder. Examples of cylinder are bottle, pencil, etc. Sphere. Examples of sphere are football, orange, etc. Cone. Examples of cone are ice cream, hat, etc. Basic 3D objects. Observe these 3D objects like television, dice, etc. The shape of television looks like a cuboid. Look at the front, side and top views of television. Do you find any similarity? All of them are rectangles. So, rectangle is the basic 3D object of cuboid. The shape of a dice looks like a cube. Look at the front, side and top views of dice. Do you find any similarity? All of them are squares. So, square is the basic 3D object of a cube. Tracing Two-dimensional outlines from three-dimensional object. Let us study how to draw two-dimensional shapes using three-dimensional objects. Drawing a square from a cube. Take a cube-shaped solid dice. Put it on a paper. Take a pencil and run along the edges of the dice. It makes a square. A square has four sides and all its four sides are equal. Since square is the basic 3D object of cube, all the faces of the cube are also equal to each other. Drawing a rectangle from a cuboid. Take a cuboid shaped pencil box. Take a pencil and run the pencil along the edges of the pencil box on a paper sheet. We get a rectangle. A rectangle has four sides. In a rectangle, the opposite sides are equal. Since rectangle is the basic 3D object of cuboid, the opposite sides of the faces of a cuboid are also equal. Drawing a circle from a cylinder. Take a cylindrical shaped object like a Pepsi can. Put it on a paper. Run a pencil along the flat face of the Pepsi can. 
we get a circle. A circle has no sides or corners. A cylinder has one curved face, two plain faces and no sides or edges. Drawing a circle from a sphere. Take a sphere. Cut the sphere into equal halves. Take a pencil and run the pencil along the edge of the flat face of the half sphere. We get a circle. A circle has no sides or corners. A sphere has one curved face, no sides or no corners. Drawing a triangle from a prism. Take a triangular prism. If a pencil is run along the top or bottom face of a prism, we get a triangle. A triangle has three sides and three corners. A prism has five plain faces and six corners. Two-dimensional shapes Let us study the two-dimensional shapes. Square A square has one face, four sides or edges, four corners or vertices. All its sides are equal. Rectangle A rectangle has one face, four sides or edges, four corners or vertices. Its opposite sides are equal. Circle A circle has one face, no sides or edges, no corners or vertices. It has only one curved surface. Triangle A triangle has one face. Three sides or edges. Three corners or vertices. The sides may or may not be equal. Straight lines. Generally, we can draw a straight line using a ruler. This is a scale. Using this, we can draw straight lines. It is an instrument in the geometry box. Drawing straight lines. We can draw straight lines using different methods. Using a thread. Take a cardboard and fix a pin on one end. Then take a thread and fix one end of the thread with the pin. Draw a straight line using the thread. By folding a paper sheet. Take a piece of paper and fold it. Then draw a line with one side of the paper. We get a straight line. Using a book or a notebook. Take a notebook and a pencil. Then draw a line with one side of the book. We get a straight line. Using free hand. We can also draw straight lines using free hand. Can you draw a straight line using your hand? Curved lines. If we cut a little portion or segment of a drawn circle, we get a curved line. This line can be extended from both the ends to form a circle. It is denoted by marking arrows at both the ends. Difference between a straight line and a curved line. A straight line never ends. It can be extended from both the ends. A curved line may or may not end. It may or may not be extended from both the ends. 
in a straight line, both ends never meet each other. In a curved line, both the ends may or may not meet each other.